everybody, Jeremy with Hard to Master, and if you see right here, I have the Fractured Sky Super Deluxe. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open this box up and go over the components in this box. So you can see they are about to do a reprint and allow you to get these Super Deluxe again. So want to make it available so that people can see what you're going to get. Now you are going to get this holographic uh, kind of foilish print to the main box if you see right there you have your standard rule book which i believe is a rule book for both the games uh, even the i mean whenever we did our pre-campaign the retail rule book looked very similar even though it had the retail pieces so you will get that you do have your different screens that are going to connect into the tray and i will show you that you do get these art prints also for the different player colors. That you can frame or um, do whatever you wish, but they do come in the box, nice art that Ivy Studios puts together. And now you can, if you wanna post it up on your wall, you can. You do have your objective uh, tray here where you have the objective cards and the where the star falls are going to fall. And this is a, um, I don't know if it's game trays, but it is a tray designed to hold the pieces and this just goes right in and the cards will slide underneath and you'll be putting your player colored cubes in here to show, well, if I looked at this one and peeked at it, did it have a coin, a stone, or a log that I chose to take or did I choose to not take one and just put it there? As well as looking at these objective cards and being able to place your cube there so you know if you forget you can always go and double check where it is now these you can double check during that round but these will go away so you would have to do it again in the next round to see what the number three card is whereas here you can put it there and you'll be able to look at that through the rest of the game so that piece does go on top now in the super deluxe you do have the miniatures pre-painted and i think they did a great job i don't have to worry about painting anything on them now, if you didn't, you just got Deluxe, well, you're going to have this player colored miniature, but it's not going to have the different paint on there. So let's look at the different buildings of each color so that you can see. But you have enough to play the game. You're not going to run out. You're limited in how many you can build anyways. So let's go to green. I'm kind of all over the place, but green. You have the markets in the armories, which are going to either allow you to gain resources if you place adjacent, or you can count it as one strength if you place adjacent to it. So there's the different painted miniatures for the markets and the armories. They all go in their tray. Move that out of the way. Uh, this is one piece. It's a heavier piece of the box. So as we lift this lid off, you're going to see the different cubes that you're going to be placing on that board that I said. This is also going to tell you player order um, when you're placing on the board. You do have the magnets, and this is really nice, having the magnets. Uh, they do come in the deluxe as well, but you're going to have pre-painted miniatures in the super deluxe. So you'll see, and... They just click on there and you'll be able to see the bottom rim of what a uh, color remember the 10 and the one have the white border whereas all the other numbers are going to have the black border so you wouldn't necessarily know exactly what but you'd have an idea based on what they play so there's the ships for the red player the ships for the uh or purple player this is the red player here i was getting ahead um don't need to i mean the magnets are going to be the same i'll show you the different colors so you can see but the magnets are pretty much going to be the same for each just in a different player color and they each have their own space and row that they can put stuff there goes the green ones um and the magenta oh they're falling apart okay we'll get them back in so Good thing about magnets is you just put them to get close and they'll connect back together. So that's great. So there, we showed you off all the magnets. Let's go back to the ships and show you a little closer on the ships. Now, all three of those ships are going to be the same. 
And these look great on the table. I've, I've played it since getting this. It's a really fun, quick game that, that you're not taking it too seriously, but you do want to try to win. I mean, you want to get those star falls and wins, but most games are pretty close. And there is some luck involved, so you have to know that going in. But again, it's not a super heavy Euro, so what's the matter with a little luck here and there in some lighter games? Now, these are the skimmer ships, and if they're on that region, um, they're going to give you one additional strength. But they don't help you with the market. So if you didn't place uh, at, at the uh, region, and you just have a skimmer ship there, it's not going to give you a market benefit like the others would so and all those ships are the same for the color i believe they're all the same ships for all the colors just in a different color plastic and paint whereas the uh player ships are individually designed uh, or uniquely designed now the board is the same it is going to have spot uv on it it does have two sides you have the side for more players but you also have the side for fewer players when you're playing three or less. I played it both ways. I like it both ways. Um, it's a little bit crazier with a higher player count. So I do kind of like that a little bit more. Um, but that's me. So let's put these trays in here. And you'll notice the green is the, is the screen that you would put in here. And so you got to get it tucked in uh, right here real nice. You would fold this piece under so it would sit under... And on top, getting those in there and sitting it on the board and there it would be. So it folds on the bottom here and connects in there. And then you have your screen where you would set it up and you'll put all your player cubes here to mark your, uh, you'll put three here and you'll have some additional. So if you did get over 10, which is a little rare, but if you get over 10, you could put another cube there to signify that all your skimmer ships your uh, player armories and the markets will go here as well. And then you'll have your three main ships that are gonna be here in your magnets behind. So that's what one of these looks like. We could connect them. You'd see that um, this yellow would get this purple color. So uh, that would give you the purple ships. So whatever that color is, it's also the ship color you're getting. And for me, I'm not really a red person, but I love this color blue, so uh, I've been playing with this color usually. So with the red ships, which is crazy because I usually don't play red. It's probably my least favorite color to play. Uh, then we have the blue player, which would go here, this uh, color combo. And then you have the purple, which would have this yellow or gold, which is yellow on the player ships. Now here's gonna be your uh, solo or two player where you have the AI, you have the different cards that'll go in here and then all the tokens. Now the tokens for the AI and uh, that mode are gonna all be cardboard like the retail. Uh, it's gonna be using the orange and the black and then you have more cards over here. Now you'll notice these are the metal star falls. They do not come in the super deluxe. They're an additional add-on but I do have them and they are nice as well. This is what you get in the Super Deluxe and the Deluxe are the normal um, crystallized blue star falls. Now you will get these, uh, I forgot the term that they use for these cards, um, but they have that, that hollow foil um, kind of shimmer to it. We have played with these cards. I'm worried about them getting scratched up a little bit playing, you know, if we play more but it's going to be your objective card your these are your um starfall cards for what you're going to do in the round and these are the ones that you would use uh, for each round uh, to show um what is like if you're the first to go to a region in that spot you're going to get one of these cards to decipher which ones are are not going to get the starfall so that's why you're looking and peeking at those now, you do have the normal cards for them. You have your player aids here, and then you have the normal cards. Now, I do not have these sleeves yet. Uh, it's a little bit different size sleeve, and so I ha just haven't gotten the sleeves that would fit it, uh, but they're a little bit wider than your normal European sleeve, and so I've got to get the right sleeves. But you have the objective cards, 
And the objective cards are going to be this stack, no matter what. They're not going to be the... Oh, you have another set I'll show you, but they're not going to be this um, where you move it like the old basketball cards and stuff you got as a kid. Um, then you have the... These are just plain old traditional um, Starfall cards that are going to be there. Now, you do have another set of orange objective cards, and let's look at those because those do have a little bit of uh, hollow foil on them. And you'll see right there. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but I'm shimmering for you just in case. But you could use these. I have used these as well. I just, it's hard for me to, I like to sleeve it so that I know when people are picking these cards up, you know, they're just safe. So I haven't used these too much because I do want them to sleeve, but they do take a different sleeve. And these are the star balls for the retail version. So everything fits in the box nice, no box lift. You've seen everything in this box. If you've uh, played Fractured Sky, maybe on uh, digital somewhere, I don't play digital, you know, TTS or anything, but maybe it's on there, I don't know. Uh, if you played that or played somebody else's copy and you're like, oh man, I kind of want the Super Deluxe. That thing looks amazing. Or even just the Deluxe, because it did, does take up quite a bit compared to the Retail Edition, but the Retail Edition is a very affordable edition if you wanted to play the game, but you didn't want to fork out all the money for it. So, but if you are looking for a Super Deluxe, this is what you're going to get in the box, other than those Metal Star Falls, which you could get um, as an add-on probably to the in this campaign. But just wanted to show you again so you could know what's in it in case you wanted to back it and get a copy of this beautiful game. IB Studios does an amazing job of production, and now you're getting the pre painted miniatures in this which makes it so much easier if you're not a painter or if you're a painter like me and you got a bunch of backlog that you're trying to paint so thanks for watching this video make sure you like this video and you subscribe to our instagram and follow us on youtube <clears throat> so you can be notified when the new videos come out or new posts come out so this has been jeremy with hard to master showing you the super deluxe copy of fracture sky that they sent us and until next time we'll see ya